Yeah, I had seen photos of the hoodoos and such, but I didn't really it, expect it to, you know, stretch over such a vast area. It stretched over like a province and a half and it really, it was beautiful. This gorgeous landscape, just one of many surprises photographer Zach Baranowski found as he completed his mission to capture 150 photos across Canada in under a month for Canada's 150th. We wanted to, you know, encapsulate the whole country in one historic moment. Sponsored by Poster Jack, Zach and his girlfriend in a small truck camper traveling from one coast to the other. About seven hours of driving each day, got up for sunrise, started our day. Uh, that often meant we had to nap in the middle of the day in the RV. We've got the Rockies, we've got the Plains, we've got the Badlands, we've got the coast. You know, it's just got so much to offer and it was really, you know, wowing us every day. He says the point of the project is to get Canadians to appreciate their own country. Canada's beautiful. Taking thousands of pictures of diverse beauty that Zach admits surprised him despite his pre-trip research. I really wasn't expecting the Badlands in Alberta and Saskatchewan. It really, you know, reminded me of Utah and, and the desert down there in Newfoundland. That was just another world, really. The mountains and there was the icebergs. It was really, it was really quite an experience. And he says here in Ontario, there are two places everyone should make a point to visit for the views. Algonquin Provincial Park is just beautiful all year round, but also Bruce Peninsula. It's a very beautiful place. The water is just like the Caribbean. It's crystal clear. Little hidden gem in Ontario. Yeah, yeah, for sure. To get people to explore all of Canada before going elsewhere in search of beauty and adventure. I really don't think people realize how much there is. I didn't, and I'm, you know, looking at photos of Canada all the time. To see Zach's full Canada 150 gallery, you can go to our website, citynews.ca. In Gormley, Audra Brown, City News.